guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're here in our special filming location for a special reason. This is it. This is the largest Subaru ever built. This is the 2021 Subaru Ascent. But before we get into this midsize three row Subaru SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Subaru, this brand that built a heritage off a of rally racing, first with the Legacy, then with the mighty Impreza WRX and the WRX STI. Boy, oh boy, have things changed in the auto industry, haven't they? The SUV being that particular vehicle that really has been a top seller. Now, the interesting thing is two vehicles in Subaru's lineup for decades really fell into a sweet spot with this SUV craze. Of course, the Forester being that compact SUV and that lifted sweetheart of a wagon, of course, the mighty Subaru Outback. Now in 2019 is when Subaru first brought the Ascent to showroom floors around the United States. And this is their answer to the hot competition in the mid-size three-row SUV segment. Now, when I say hot, it's ultra hot. I'm talking about 180 degrees worth of hotness because you got vehicles like the Kia Telluride, that top seller. You got the Hyundai Palisade. You have the Chevy Traverse, the GMC Acadia. I mean, it goes on and on and on. The Honda Pilot, the Mazda CX-9. What I want to find out is with this ascent that we have, has Subaru done enough to go up against the heavy hitter, that top selling Telluride, with bringing, of course, that symmetrical all-wheel drive and that undeniable Subaru versatility. Let's go ahead, let's dive into our 2021 Ascent and find out. Right off the bat, like I said, this being that supersize Subaru, it really showcases at the front end of the business. You're gonna get on our particular trim, LED projector beam headlights. There's a lot of chrome in the headlight housing. I wish they would have blacked out a little bit of it, but I do like the LED daytime running lamps. And then another thing that I think is a very smart move is the way that they styled the headlight housing, very similar to the Crosstrek, very similar to the Forester. So it really shows that family resemblance. Now, as we drop down, you are gonna get some flat black, a little bit of shiny chrome, and then the best news of the day is you have some LED fog lamps, no fake vents. So that really showcases that extra lighting and style with a little bit of flat black on that lower extension. If you're comparing this to the Telluride, of course you're gonna get LED lights and it's gonna be just styled in a unique, different kind of way compared to the Subaru Ascent. Now, as we come across that center grill, I really feel like they took the grill from their legacy sedan and actually enlarged it and properly placed it at the front of the Ascent. So you're gonna get these nice metallic gunmetal gray finish horizontal slots. You got that iconic Constellation, that Subaru badge, so much history. Like I said, from rally racing, but now they're doing things differently with a lot of great usability and drivability. Working your way all the way down, you have your chrome around the perimeter and then flat black on this center lower area. And this is fully functional, which is great. When it comes to ground clearance, you're gonna get that 8.7 inches of ground clearance and standard all-wheel drive. Now remember on the Telluride, it is not standard with the, you can get all-wheel drive, it's just not standard. It's a front-wheel drive vehicle that you can get with that power going to the rear wheels. But definitely scream Subaru in a nice large way. Now when you get up onto the hood, I like the way they have a nice rise. Everything just goes immediately to the windshield and then you'll notice the rise up on the peaks that go seamless. They flow seamless into the A pillars. I think the biggest piece of technology that separates the Subaru Ascent from the Telluride is gonna be that great iWatch system, that camera system that is probably the best safety system in the whole auto industry and really something that Subaru is very proud of and something that's gonna separate it, like I said, from that Telluride. Now, when we come around the bend, on our particular trim, what are we working wheel and tire setup? You're gonna get these nice machine aluminum wheels with that metallic gunmetal gray finish, 20 inch wheel, 245 on the width. So we got 245 on the width, 
meaty 50 series sidewall. And to keep with that rugged Subaru look, you're just getting a little bit, just a little bit of plastic fender cladding. I like the way it's flat black to match everything else. The great news is no fake vents, nothing like that. And another thing I want to point out that I think a lot of people don't pay attention to is look at how the body line has a nice curve, curves down into the door panel. So definitely going to have a unique style compared to the Telluride. Going down the rest of the vehicle on the side, you're going to get color matched on your mirror caps. We got those LED turn signals flashing, bright, shiny metal work, top and bottom, color matched on the door handles. And then you'll notice how they brought the flat black with just a little bit of chrome trim along the bottom to make that nice cohesive design from the front, down the side, to the rear. Up top, we have these massive raised roof rails. And this is one of those things that you're going to get great usability having that raised system to be able to tie down your kayak straps, whatever you got, you could put it up top here. Working our way towards the rear, nice large quarter window. Let me close this door. There we go. Now everything kind of just flows nicely into the rear of the vehicle. I'm really digging this body line, the way it kind of, it's like surfing down the side of this ascent. And then as we wrap it around the rear, what are we talking about at the tail end of the business? You're going to get a flat black shark fin antenna. I like the way they did a nice long low roof spoiler. Looks really clean, gives us some style. Of course, we got the wiper back here. Let me know what you think about these wipers. I've had some people complaining that it's the wiper. What are you going to do? I say tuck it underneath here, but that's just me. You'll see how they did the taillights, just like the headlights with the chrome finish coming into them. Subaru badge with that symmetrical all-wheel drive. Remember, this sits on the global platform for the chassis. The only vehicle that does not is the small Subaru BRZ, and that's also the only vehicle that doesn't have the symmetrical all-wheel drive. That's real-wheel drive. But as we drop down that chrome trim, we are driving the limited trim setup, which is going to be very nice with the ascent. Wait until we get to the interior. And then the back lower bumper clean. I like the way it's got one exhaust on each side. And that's something that I wish the Telluride had, is had a balanced exhaust outlet on each side. But it's a nice oval cut, simple in design. Underneath this large plastic cover, you're going to have your full towing capability. And if you're wondering about towing, you could tow up to 5,000 pounds with this Subaru Ascent. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this supersized Subaru. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod. The good news is it's all the way over to the passenger side. The other thing that really makes this a true Subaru is guess what? You're getting a flat four engine. So underneath the hood, you might hear four cylinder and you might say, oh, well, the Telluride has a V6. This is probably going to be underpowered. But if you're noticing right away, what are you seeing? That is a Subaru specific designed top mount intercooler because we got turbocharged power. We have a 2.4 liter turbocharged flat four, 260 horsepower, 277 pound feet of torque. It is mated to a CVT transmission that does have manual shift mode to simulate an eight speed automatic. Zero to 60 in about 7.9 seconds. Top speed 130 miles an hour. The vehicle weighs 4,600 pounds. MPGs, even with the full-time all-wheel drive, 20 in the city, 26 on the highway. If you're comparing this to the Telluride, remember the Telluride does have that naturally aspirated V6, does have a little bit more horsepower, but the thing to remember, with a flat four engine or a flat six engine or whatever, if it's a boxer motor, that means the engine sits lower in the chassis, which is actually gonna help with handling and stability. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what this ascent brings to the table. All right, guys, here we are inside this 2021 Subaru Ascent. Been around since 2019. I know you're saying, well, Joe, I kind of forgot about the Ascent. I've been looking at the CX-9. I've been looking at the Telluride. The others I kind of really don't like, but I'm starting to like this Ascent, especially since I remember it now. How much is it? So this particular one in the limited trim is going to be an MSRP of around $43,995. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. I like what Subaru did with the different materials. Nice, stylish, soft touch up top. We got some flat black 
in the center, no gloss black, and then the beige, I'm actually digging. I know that sounds crazy, but it really just kind of gives a pop of color, especially to the midsection with the stitching. Nice soft armrest, and then down below, you're gonna notice the first of 18 cup holders. The bad news is there's really no space for a Boston cream donut. So you could put a couple bottles of milk in there, but you're gonna have to put your Boston cream donut on your lap in between your legs. Just don't squeeze your legs or you're gonna squirt cream all over the place. We do have the Harman Kardon sound system. Nice touch, clear audio. And then going from the door panel to the dash, I love the stitch work that they did. Super soft material. You got more of that beige to kind of brighten things up. And the great news is you got that Subaru Twinkie tray. We have one Twinkie here. I actually had more, I ate the rest of them, but you could put up to four Twinkies. I ate the other three, sorry, I couldn't take it any longer while we were filming, but just to give you a little bit of a reference point. And then getting to the center stack, I personally like this. Now I know a lot of people wanna see the bigger screen, but you do have the eight inch Starlink system, very easy to use, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Another reason why I like this setup is I actually think it's cool to have that extra gauge pot up top. It reminds me of my Subaru WRX STI. You could go through a cornucopia of information. Look at that, look at the graphics on there. Really, really cool to see how the power gets transferred with your uh, symmetrical all-wheel drive system. You got your different gauges, the temperature. I mean, there's a lot of different information that comes up in that little gauge pod. A Little bit of silver trim looking classy. Let me throw it into reverse. Backup camera actually has some pretty good resolution. So very happy to report that with trajectory, which is great. And then you're gonna have some gloss black, nothing too, too crazy. I do like the silver on the AC controls. Easy to use, dual climate, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. And I'm gonna have to zonk that because it would go perfectly right here. Some ventilated seats. You got your start stop button conveniently placed with a little bit of chrome around the exterior. Another area down here, what I would put down here are the Jolly Ranchers, especially on a long family trip, get the watermelon, get the sour apple, the cherry, and then connectivity, they got you covered. Check it out. You're going to have these areas where you're going to be able to plug in and tune out everybody in the vehicle, USBs and an aux jack, and these very interesting little tiny covers there. There we go. You have X mode, of course, in your Subaru Ascent. This is gonna control that CVT transmission. I know how you feel about those. Flat black with some chrome. And then of course, you're gonna get your standard Subaru key fob. It's actually a great key fob. It's one of my favorite key fobs. Good size, looks tasteful. Armrest on the center console. Nice height, great padding, great stitch work. Open it up. Whoa, we have a snack bonanza. So you have your Twinkie tray with two Twinkies and then you have enough capacity snack capacity for a super sized three pound bag of Sour Patch Kids and Skittles. So they got you covered and the good news is, look at this, your Sour Patch Kids aren't gonna get all ruined because you got nice felt lining in there. Pop it all back, boom. You just made your family trip that much more sane for you by having that in there. I promise you that. And then the seats, they did a great job. The softness, the perforated material, stitch work, we have electric assist for the passenger. I got electric assist over here for the driver's side, which of course makes sense. And then we have that panoramic sunroof that goes all the way back, except for the third row passengers. So they kind of get shafted, but you know what? Put the kids that you like the least in that third row. But why don't you come over here to the business end? I want to show you behind this leather wrap steering wheel in the Subaru Ascent. Hi guys, come on in to the Subaru Ascent business end. You do have two memory seat settings and also you're gonna get a CD player which you don't get in a Telluride. Now, the seat controls are easy to get to. Got that lower lumbar adjustment which is fantastic. I'm six feet tall, plenty of room in here. So much so that guess what? They do give you that last Twinkie spot for the driver because remember, without the driver, the vehicle ain't going anywhere. So if you wind up dying of hunger, that's not good for the family road trip. That's why you're gonna to wanna to leave one of those. And that's why Hostess has a heart there because it keeps people alive on those long family trips. But you know what, steering wheel, leather wrapped with the baseball style stitching. 
I'm fine with the horn button. I, I don't have an issue with it. I think it flows nicely. It is a heated steering wheel, manual tilting and telescoping. You do have paddles on the back of the wheel to go through those simulated eight gears because remember, this is a CVT transmission. And then the dash is clear, concise, and straightforward. You have an analog tack, analog speedometer, fuel gauge, cooling gauge, and then you got that digital display in the center. Very, very similar to what you're gonna find in the Telluride right now. But why don't you go ahead, let's get into the mid-row and see how it stacks up against the best in the midsize SUV class. All right, guys, mid-row time, and I'm telling you, this is where the passengers are gonna have lots of space. You got all the cup holders, captain-style chairs, Pull down the armrest. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this captain's chair armrest. If it was just a little bit wider, it would be perfect. But you know what? It does not deserve a zonk. I'm going to flip it back out of the way. No center console area. So I guess that's good for people coming through. Or if you have somebody back there like myself with longer legs, maybe they could stretch their legs out. Backs of the seats, guess what you could put there? All your dog toys. You know, Subaru and dogs go together like peanut butter and jelly. Keep all those squeaky toys for your favorite pet whenever they're ready to have a little bit of fun at the parks, at the uh, you know big open grassy lot areas where they could just run forever and be free. Isn't it great to be free? But coming back, you do have a nice command center with rear AC controls, just like up front. Heated seats, no ventilated seats. That's a dead panel. I'm gonna say that that's gonna be a home power source on a different trim, but the great news is you do have two USBs, and guess what, you want cup holders? Shabam. Two cup holders for the super size, super, I can't even say it, super size Slurpees. That's how big they are, I can't, it's a mouthful. And then, like I said, I'm six feet tall. You can see the amount of room. We got our AC vents. I like where they're placed. I could kind of blow it on my body very nicely. How do we move these? Do they move? Of course they move. So you got a little sliding action. Do they recline? Oh yeah. And they recline actually pretty nicely. Plus you got those sun security shades that are manual that you can lift and raise at any given moment. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into that third row and see if you would want to sit in this massive Super. All right, guys, third row time. What's really nice is that the lever to make the seat move forward is easy to get to, and you actually have a good amount of real estate for people's feet to step on in, and it's all nicely covered in plastic instead of carpet, so it's not going to get all ripped up and nasty looking. But you climb on in. I'm going to slide over because look what I have. I have my box of Twinkies back here with me. Let me sit up a little bit more so actually knee height is not too high considering it puts it in alignment with the telluride um it's a little tight on the headliner space back here but uh you know what you could always keep your dogs back here uh plenty of room for them and you know you don't have to send them to college like you do your kids so it might be better just to have some dogs and some furry friends but we got three cup holders back here I got the rear speakers, we got connectivity, and a Twinkie holder, perfect over here. So they really got you covered to make you feel good back here. And you know what, if you got a nice Bose headset for your dog, plug it in back here and let them listen to some tunes, you know? That'll keep them nice and quiet. But why don't we go ahead, let's get the, all these seats folded down and see how much cargo space we have for our next journey with the fan. All right, guys, we have the rear hatch lid open. It is electric assist on our limited trim ascent. And coming on into the back, one thing you're definitely not gonna be limited on is rear cargo space. With the rear seats up, you're looking at 18 cubic feet of space. You do have a 12 volt conveniently placed for when you're going camping, when you're going to the beach. On the passenger side, you'll notice the subwoofer from that optional Harman Kardon sound system. And then let me show you a couple things with the rear seats. First of all, you could actually recline them a little bit. So that's really nice for those rear seat passengers to get a little bit extra room. And you can see the difference between where this seat is and this portion, because it's that 60-40 split. To put the seat down, very, very simple. You're just gonna lift up on the tab and it folds down super flat. Now the great news is you fold down that mid row, it's gonna max out at 86.5 
cubic feet of space. And then another nice thing that we have is under the floor storage. Check it out. You lift this up, move the shade out of the way. What do we got? We got enough room for at least one box of Twinkies. You could easily put, I would say, eight to nine boxes of Twinkies in this great storage area. Put the lid back down. And if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's go ahead. We got turbocharged all-wheel drive power in a Subaru. Let's go on throttle and see how it drives. All right, guys, we're in this 2021 Subaru Ascent Limited trim. Right away, I think where this Subaru outshines the Telluride is just how easy it is to drive, how versatile it is, and then, of course, the safety system. That EyeSight technology is going to keep you safe, safer than any other SUV out there, and I really like the way they have um, integrated this a little bit cleaner and kind of modified it to be a little bit smaller with this newer version compared to the original eyesight technology now getting to the infotainment system even though it's eight inches and it comes up short to the telluride it's easy to get to easy to see the gauges same story and then the seats are actually really comfortable and supportive and then of course visibility even for a larger suv they really focus on giving you that ability to see clearly so that you can, of course, remain safe with the eight pillars pulled very far apart to give you a great view out over the hood. All right, we're gonna go on throttle when the light turns green to showcase the symmetrical all-wheel drive system. I just have it in just regular automatic drive to see how that CBT behaves, but on throttle, here we go. Nice, look at that. So the power gets to the ground very, very effectively. And the good news is, even though it has a little less horsepower than the Telluride, it actually accelerates very quickly. And you're not waiting for the boost from that 2.4 liter flat four engine that's turbocharged. And then of course, having that engine lower in the chassis is gonna make this handle a lot more reassuring and confidence inspiring than many of the other midsize SUVs. But I like the way it's very easy to get to everything. What I'm missing is I would like ventilated seats up here. On a limited trim, I would like to see ventilated seats, but uh, I also want to showcase and shift manually with the paddles behind the wheel. So I'm gonna actually come to a complete stop. Nobody's behind us. And now it gives you a gear indicator in that digital uh, LED box. On throttle, here we go. Second simulated gear. So definitely very, very planted. And you know what, when you're using the paddles, it behaves like a traditional torque converter automatic transmission. Downshifts nicely, third gear, second gear. Oh, here we go. So that is the one nice thing about this setup in here is that you are gonna have that ability to um, showcase that technology. All right, guys, I want to take us out onto the highway. We're going to get onto this frontage road. On throttle, here we go. So there's those simulated shifts going on. What that does is it helps keep the revs lower. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, why does Subaru use a CVT transmission? CVTs traditionally are going to get you better fuel economy overall compared to a conventional torque converter automatic transmission. And with their full-time all-wheel drive system, every drop of fuel is gonna matter to really maximize those MPGs. But the fantastic news is getting out onto the highway, very, very smooth, very quiet, very composed, which is nice. And that's the key to the whole Subaru lineup is they really like building cars that are not only gonna keep you safe, but also inspire 
confidence and that's what's really nice as well but you're not getting a bunch of wind noise a little bit of road noise but nothing too crazy because you have those 50 series tires even though they're wrapped around massive 20 inch wheels but even going over the expansion joints here very smooth very comfortable but hopefully this gave you a whole complete picture about what the Subaru Ascent is all about all about we're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up so I'll see you in a split second all right guys it's been another great day here in sunny Florida I definitely got to thank Jessica and the whole Subaru team for allowing Radies Rise access to this press fleet vehicle let me know what you think has Subaru done enough with their largest ever SUV to go up against the Telluride and the rest of the competition in the mid-size three row SUV segment or are you going with the Telluride put it in the comment section let them know because I promise you they come through and read your comments as do I but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out hit that subscribe button I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family if you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to that mountain climber behind the camera, Lori reaching the ascent in the videography world with her amazing skills. Show her some love in the comment section. Use the hashtag best in the biz. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.